now we're going to the Atlas Film Studios where they filmed Star Wars, parts of Star Wars, Gladiator with Kurt Russell, a couple of movies. We drove in the desert and we saw a lot of things that we thought it reminds us of, but people told us it's nice to see where it happened. But now we gotta take a picture for you guys. Yesterday, unfortunately, I fell out of the truck. Uh, and my feet is a little swollen. I am Isabella and I am from Brazil. This is Fabian and he is German. We've been overlanding the world with our home sweet home, Frank the Tank, for the past almost four years. Together with our son Mateo and our two lovely dogs, Uni from Spain and Vasco from Germany, we are living Give for Before. Subscribe and welcome to the family. There it is. This is a place that we park. Amazing. This is like a hotel. We asked to park outside here. And they said yes, and then we enjoyed the pool yesterday, and this was pretty cool. There it is, and we park it here with the Sprinter 7, Underline 7, and this is the pool. This was pretty awesome. We ate in the restaurant two yesterday nights there. This is the pool area. And this was pretty nice. Really cool. He will jump. Something kissing. <laughs> yeah. The light is a new princess in. Hey, look at him, Marido. Hey, my friend. Hello, hello. With his wasser. Ah, so chilly. There it is. This is where we parked. Now we are getting out. So now after leaving the Hotel Royal Sultan, we decided to check out the Atlas Studios uh, in Orzazat and uh, yeah, enjoy the ride there. It's a beautiful ride, it's a beautiful town. I think we went shopping before and then after that uh, we tried to get into the studios. So stay tuned and enjoy the studios. Atlas Film Studios where they filmed Star Wars, parts of Star Wars, Gladiator with Kurt Russell, a couple of movies. Yeah, I think we it... drove in the desert and we saw a lot of things that we thought it reminds us of, but people told us it's nice to see where it happened. But now we gotta take a picture for you guys. Oscar Hotel. There you go. <laughs> Atlas Studios. Film Studios. There we go.
So. Oh, da sieht man ja schon was. Ben Hur was hier filmed. Indiana Jones stuff. Like... So here we are at the Atlas Studios. We have a little peak and it is I think 5 euros 50 dirham to go in. We will see. Let's ask what we can expect, right? It's a movie theater, really. Orzavut. Here you can see what's filmed there. So guys, we decided to not do the tour because they raised the price to 80 and uh, the guide was pretty rough and he's like, without me, you can't do it. So we wanted to just stroll around, but well, they didn't let us alone in. So we said, nope, thank you. We don't have an hour for the tour, but if you want to come here, they have a tour for 80 Duran and you have a guide and he explains a little. So see you when we see ya. Yeah, we left the Atlas Studios and uh, we were looking for a nice spot to park and this was very far outside of any civilization. So we drove a long way and uh, we saw this beautiful lake and uh, yeah, like we said, long way, a, lo a little bit of off-road. We didn't film and uh, then at night we were a little stressed. We went there and we arrived and uh, yeah, that could have been almost the end of our trip, or not. Stay tuned. Hi guys! Yesterday, unfortunately, we, I fell out of the truck uh, and my feet is a little swollen. I can show you my other one that you guys can see a little better the difference. This side and this side. Exactly, Isabella stepped out of the truck with Matteo in her hands and since it was off-road, uh, the last step she didn't see and she stepped into a hole that uh, probably twisted her ankle and she was laying there, but she was saving Matteo. Now that was a bad movement. But it was a nice spot. And now we are going to Agadir and we are going to a doctor to check, to take a picture and see if it's broken or not. Let's hope it's not. This is from where we are, I think, a four hours drive. So the four hour drive ended up to be six and a half hours. And uh, thanks to Stephanie and Christian from Sprinter 7, um, yeah, they, they were really good in the moral support and in the moment when it happened uh, they tried to calm us down because we 
to be honest, we started panicking a little, you know, trip is over, we're in the middle of nowhere. Isabella's foot was really hurting. She was in pain. Um, and, you know, we have the two dogs, we have Matteo. Um, so everything in, in, at least in my head was, was immediately like, oh my God, we got to get out of here. How are we going to solve that? And yeah, Christian and uh, Stephanie were really there for us. Thanks again. And uh, yeah, and now enjoy the story how we got to Agadir. So at this point, uh, after six hours, we were kind of tired and we were stressing towards the hospital. So finally we arrived in the hospital in Agadir and uh, yeah, I mean of course first thing they checked is if we are insured, so always have an insurance in countries like that, we were insured and uh, that was a good thing. So Isabella, uh, we felt kind of bad for some people, there were a lot of people waiting for treatment, but uh, Isabella immediately you know, went to a nice room and the doctor came and lifted her foot. And uh, yeah, finally, after I think two days we spent there, um, uh, all the stuff that was necessary to keep Isabella's foot safe. So this was last time's parking behind the hospital. But it's all good. Here's an ambulance coming. And here is Isabelita coming out of the hospital. Mommy. And somebody is happy. Learning how to use it. Basco, come here. Walk, keep walking. She's still learning and she's gonna be strong after this. So now we move on with our trip. Thanks to the clinic. Really nice people, they took care. Now Isabella is ready for some new adventures. Yes. <laughs> Next four weeks with the crotches. See you when we see ya. So for all the people who were wondering what's happening. Oh, look who's coming. Another guy, Matteo. Matteo is on my shoulders. Isabella is back from the hospital. So don't put the weight on it. So yesterday, what happened is, go, go home. What happened is yesterday, she, or two days ago actually, she stepped out of the truck with Matteo on her hands. She stepped on a rock and twisted her ankle. So it's, it's a little bit broken, but now we move on. Turn around, say bye. See you when we see you. Two new adventures. It's more papa time now, Matteo. The next four weeks, I'm gonna carry you around. All right? Yeah, Papa. I think the beach is down there. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. And are you excited to see a beach in Morocco? <laughs> well, after all that, what happened with Isabella, I don't care. <laughs> I am excited. I will not enjoy the beach, but it will be nice to see. We found our next spot. In Swain. Look at the waves down there. Perfect surf spot. Little city. I hope it's as relaxed as people say. Because we just parked for lunch and then we fell asleep and we got woken up by some people that wanted something from us and we didn't understand. <laughs> 